the full invasion into Gaza, if it is really going to result in the elimination of Hamas, is going to be uh, probably uh, the most deadly war Israel has ever seen or very close to it. The call-up of its reserves has effectively uh, frozen its economy. Chris Cuomo is now on the ground in Tel Aviv. Chris, uh, as you talk to Israelis uh, about their resolve on this, is there a willingness to endure the pain uh, that is going to come here in terms of loss of life and uh, loss of their, their young men and women? I think this place is uh, suffocated uh, by pain. I think there's pain. This story is a story of pain. Uh, there is pain in Gaza. Uh, there are innocents there who have basically been uh, elected as martyrs uh, by a terrorist organization. They've been put in a position they did not ask for. Uh, and here, they've been put in a position that they did not ask for. And the pain is everywhere. Now, look, the burden of leadership is that the Israeli government, the Israeli military, can't just work on passion. There has to be a pragmatism. And I think you're seeing that play out right now in the form of this dilemma. How do you balance wanting to get back an unprecedented number of your people yeah. who've been stolen, almost all of them non-combatants, and deal with the threat? Tomorrow, Leland, is a huge, crucial day. We saw what happened in Paris. I don't know if you've been playing the video there. Yeah. Uh, there's a call for protests. We'll probably see them in Jerusalem and go cover them. They'll be at the border. Israel cannot go in in any meaningful way with all of these protesters, essentially non-combatants who could become combatants, if there's any mixing of Israeli military with them. So there has to be a hold. We have to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, the bloodshed is inevitable here. The question is, for how long and in what ways? Yeah, I've, I've spent an awful lot of Fridays at the Kalandia checkpoint uh, in the West Bank, which is where things uh, tend to kick off over there. And you're right, uh, da old, old city in Jerusalem after Friday prayers, uh, whether that turns into a combustible situation beyond just some rock throwing and tear gas will tell us a lot about wh where the West Bank heads, which is something that um, really nobody's talked about yet, and I'm glad you're going over to cover it. Chris will be there uh, through tomorrow. Chris, thank you very much. Coming up, thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.